So maybe that'll be part of my mission to do things and say, hey, this is a representation of who I am, what married life can be, how you create memories. Uh, and the other side, because we only hear one side, which is always negative. The squeaky door always gets the order. Wow. That, that is a good way of looking at it. Um, people could, my purpose is for people to experience. Well, I mean, I kind of know that like my purpose is to show people what else is out there throughout the world and that they can do it, especially if I'm young and they're older and they probably should quit procrastinating to do it. Uh, would you recommend the decision to bring a spouse from another country to the United States? Still no. Watching and what's their No, no, no. I know I am being like a hypocrite. No. You want to know why? A whole bunch of reasons why. Most of you fools out there do not know how to vet no girl. So y'all going to pick a crazy woman with a big butt and a smile and you're going to bring her back and then you're going to ruin it for everybody else because your experience is what you're going to share with people. And because you did not know how to do it, you're going to say everybody else was bad. That's why you got your simps, your Western Union poppies. You got all of these dudes who are doing that. <clears throat> And they say, I want to bring some girl back. You meet the chick over in Sasua and you think because she looked good and she say you were special, you the one, you're going, you're going to take her back. What else? Um, Y'all looking for a trophy wife. You looking for some young girl that's just a trophy wife. She looked good. And why? Why? Because it's just like your new car. You just want to show her off. It's not really your wife. You just want to bring her back. Be like, man, if I brought this chick back to the States. All the dudes going to be on me. So that's what it is. It's like, I want to bring that fine chick back so other dudes will admire you because of what you have. Wrong, wrong, wrong. No trophy wife. That's not going to get you anywhere. You're not financially responsible. You can't pay your own bills on time. You don't have the money to support yourself. How are you going to support some other woman that you bring here? You don't have, in order to bring a chick here, you have to be able to support her, take care of her. Especially if you're coming from a country that is in South America, Thailand, Asia, there is no 50-50. There ain't no, you know, you paying the tab. Now, you do get things in return for that, meaning you may pick up the bills and you pay the things and she's going to take care of me the other way. But most of y'all guys can't handle that. Most of y'all guys looking for a slave or something like that and then wonder why, you know, you got this. Now you got this fine. Y'all insecure. You got a fine chick. She looked good. She got a body, breast out, booty out, looking fine. She on, she taking pics on Instagram, looking great. You scared to leave her home by herself? Why? Because you think she's gonna cheat on you. Can't have your best friend around. Can't take her nowhere. Scared of her to go to a job. I know a friend of mine that wouldn't let his girl get a license because he was afraid that once she got a license, now she got independence. She get independence. She don't need him anymore. Drive right? off in the sunset. Yeah, this is crazy. Um, so y'all not financially responsible. Uh, y'all don't know how to take care of yourself. Y'all looking for it today and you're not looking for it, the chick you should be looking for for tomorrow, next five years, next 10 years. You're not looking for the mother of your children because that chick may look good, but what kind of mom she going to make? Yeah, if she, she got a single kid now to stay with her mama. <laughs> what makes you think she's going to take care of your kid when you get there? You want a traditional wife. You want that wife to cook and clean. But by no means are you a traditional man or no means that you're waking up taking care of business. No woman will, is going to respect you if you can't get respect for yourself. If you're not doing things that that's, that's in Latin community and Asian community, they call them mochisimo, the macho men. They macho because that's how they feel that I take care of this. I take care of business and I do that. The reason they gain the respect is because they've already done the things to get the respect. You don't. You can't find a good chick in the U.S. You can't better here. What make you think you can go to another country and get the, and get something different? She's going to treat you the same way. Um, they don't understand the needs of a chick coming from another country. She coming from another country, man. You got to she got to get out and she cannot be a prison to her home. She has to deal with her culture. Her likes, her individuals, her friendship. Just like I told you before, Austin, you see somebody who speaks English, you want to be there because that gives you gives you some kind of sense uh, of belonging. Everybody wants to belong somewhere. And if you, she's going to be a prisoner, she's not going to do it. Y'all going to pick a chick that, that's never going to learn the language. If you got a girl now 
and you constantly translate, you on WhatsApp, and you constantly translating from English to Spanish, and she's replying only in Spanish, that's an issue. That means she don't give a fuck about you enough to learn your language. It's all about her. And that's the chick you're going to bring back. You're going to bring back the waitress who ain't never did nothing but been a waitress. And then you're going to get here and wonder why she can't do anything else but be a waitress. So you're going to judge her in a whole nother way. Um, she needs to feel comfortable. You know, y'all don't want her to have friends. Who don't have friends, man? You got to have somebody to have friends. Another thing is, Y'all sell dreams of grandeur. You done went over there and made this life and you said who you are. Because I know dudes that did. I'm this. You're like this. Because you can be whomever you want for one week. You can be whomever you want for two weeks. You can show whatever you want on the, on your WhatsApp or whatever in your background. You can do all of that. And then she get here and be like, what the fuck? You live, where you live at? We in the hood. All of those things you sold to that dream are not reality. And when she finds out that that dream wasn't reality, you wonder why she left. You just sold her a bill of goods. What if she sold you that bill of goods? Um, another thing is, y'all can't handle a racial aspect, bro. You can't handle it. You're going to get it. You bring your Asian chick over here, my lane, people going to look at it different. Her people going to look at it different. They're going to treat you wrong. You're going to go somewhere and they're going to be like, oh, she can't come or she's going to get them looks. Can you handle when you go somewhere, you're, you're a black brother and you get them looks from the system and they giving you that hate look. They look your chick up and down like, like, yeah, I can beat that bitch's ass. Can you handle that? Are you going to be to deal with that? That the ghetto stuff. You got a, you got a little Asian chick that's 110 pounds and ain't never been a fight in her life. And you got a, you know, you got Shaquia who 210 who don't like how she got natural hair. She want to pull it out. What you going to do? You know, um, uh, you know, so what are you doing? Um, all of those things, man. You know, so I say no, because a lot of you guys are not ready to handle the consequences that come with it. It's a responsibility to bring somebody over here. It's not just bringing a chick over here and that's it. There's a whole lot of responsibility that goes with it. If you want to bring a chick over here, that's what you do. Uh, you tell her you're going to pay for her to go get a tourist visa. Maybe hard to get. Get her a tourist visa. Pay that hundred fifty dollars or whatever it is for her to go to the embassy and she can get a tourist visa. Now, if she comes over, she don't want to leave. That's on her. Or you see how she really acts when she's in the country. So now you vetted it. Now you know if she's just coming over here for a visa, she's not there. If she comes over here and doesn't like it, you didn't lose anything. You don't have no marriage. You didn't lose nothing. You lost hundred and fifty dollars in a plane trip, round trip plane trip. I can do that. That's better than than doing everything else. So you can find out who she really is. You know, y'all get mad because you bring a chick over and she go to whomever, Jose that she was with before because she found out that you wasn't nothing, man. <laughs> you, you didn't do anything. If you have a chick that came from nothing and you bring her everything, why would she leave? If she came from nothing and she came over here to nothing, she like, shoot, it's easier for me to be with Jose. Why be with you? You didn't. You changed my life in no way. So, you know, you have to. I say no, don't do it. Uh, and a lot of guys get in trouble because they pick the wrong girl and expect the right outcome. And that does not happen. You want to bring a girl over? Get her a tourist visa. Take her to another country and stay with her. See how she acts then. Move there. Get outside the resort. Get outside of those places. You know, if you can afford, move there. Go there for a couple of months. See how she acts in that environment. Once all the flash is gone, once all the, I met you at the club and I got to go out because you're not going to eat out every single day. Is she cooking for you? She taking care of you? Is she making sure that, you know, you get all the loopholes or you just on your own? So no, don't bring her back because y'all not responsible enough to do it. And I'm not saying I was, and I'm saying I got lucky. I just had a lifelong experience that I've done it. Not new to this. I was getting, I played ball, fraternity. I had chicks all throughout the way. I had fine, had all of that. So I've been through that. I've been seasoned. A lot of y'all not seasoned because I see it in your eyes when you go down to DR. You like, oh my God. That girl gives you a little bit, you know, she folds your clothes and she say, hey, Poppy, you like, you on one knee. This is the best thing you ever had since sliced bread. You don't know what to do. That's, that's that saltine cracker. You can't get out your mouth. 
And that's how you got tricked. And don't think, bro. I know you said it before, Austin. A girl who 19 in BR or Latin America is not the same as a 19-year-old in America. She got much more experience. She got much more game. So don't think you can go there and like, oh, I'm gaming this chick because she's young. You'll find out real quick. It don't happen like that, brother. Well, that was very uh, good information. I will say this. I don't know if you've thought of this already. I think people should live vicariously through me right now. But I think your calling is to be the uh, consultation guy for I want to bring my wife back to the United States. Can, <laughs> fearless, can you tell me if, if this is the right girl? I think that's your $2,000 phone call consultation. <laughs> I think that's I think that's your calling. Let me see. I'm going to have her come in and tell you. Hey, Yanil, come here. 